Hey, so this is Jamie Van Dorn from NeverEnding. I am going to show you how to make this really cute uh, red macaw avatar and show that you can also use it in vStreamer. So uh, give me one second. I'm just going to share my screen. And I've already got the character builder kind of pulled up. Um, so you'll see that, you know, it's I'm already in the 2D character builder. There's just a bunch of uh, bodies to choose from. Oh, here we go. I don't know why they weren't loading. It was taking a second. To make this character, we're going to use, it's kind of an animal character. So we're going to use this cute little animal body, which is a new body that we literally just added for uh, this video and for this particular avatar. So that's pretty cool. We have just a couple of heads for it right now. We can attach a bunch of other heads. If this was a different body, so for example, this body, you'd see that there's there's just tons and tons of heads that you can choose and there ends up being, um, oh, whoops. I always have to select the head first. There ends up being like tons of eyes and ears and uh, other assets that you can choose. But for right now, we're making the bird character. So we're gonna choose the cute little animal body. We're gonna choose a head. This head would be great for like dogs or mice or something else. But we're going to choose this bird head. Um, we're going to come down here and I'm going to select this cute like uh, feathered body. There are other kind of skins that I could do. Um, if I don't select a skin, I can actually go back up here in the body. Just select the color picker and it's a red macaw in my mind. So I just want to adjust the red a little bit and I'm just going to pick a red color. I think I want something more cartoonish than that. So I'm going to go here um, with this bright red body. Um, if I go, by the way, I, I wanted to mention, you can see that also right now it does not look like a bird because it has arms and legs that, that look more like a mouse. That's kind of creepy. So we'll just choose these two wings really quick and we'll give it uh, bird legs really fast. So there, there we go. Um, before I go further, let me just put a beak on it and eyes on it just before I start messing around with anything else. So you'll note that there's like humanoid and there's beast snoot. So for the bird head, there's just this one. It is automatically coloring the beak to match here because generally human noses automatically color the human skin or the, the humanoid skin, whether it's you know, pink or brown or blue or purple. Um, but this is really easy to change. I just go back into the color pick picker and I pick that color. I'm going to go with something a little bit brighter. I'm going to go with an accent, which is the bottom part of the beak a little bit lighter. And now I'm going to go to our eyes. We've got tons of different eyes. I kind of want to go with some cute little adorable eyes. <laughs> so we can do this. I'm going to leave the base as actually white. I don't want to color the base because that's the white of the eyes. And I'm going to go with a nice little green color for here. Turn off the color picker. Um, we can zoom in later and, and show you that. By the way, I'm, I know I'm bouncing around a little bit, but I, I just want to show off some of the different things. Now, I could add a pattern here. Like, let's say I wanted to add a feather pattern. I could go in here and as the base, maybe I pick a similar red color, um, but I'm going to give this more of a, uh, actually, let me change a blue and maybe we'll go with a bright green. And then if I go to the arms really quick, I can do the accent one, I can do a green similar to this and I lost my blue, but that's okay. I can get a blue back pretty quickly and I'll go to accent two and do the blue. So now we have this brightly colored bird body um, and I can go to the legs and let's just quickly give it some color on the legs. I don't know why it, this is a little bug that's happening here. I'm not sure what that is, but it's super. Oh, huh. I know what's happening. For some reason, it didn't pick my 
my bird leg. There we go. Um, I'm going to leave the base the same because that's what I want. And I am going to go with an accent one kind of a yellowish color, maybe a little bit more on the orange side. Since I picked that color, I'm going to do the same color here. This is the toenails. It's kind of hard to see in this regard, but you'll see that it just colored those there. I'll go down to accent two, color those as well. Um, because of the way the neck is, I'm not a huge fan of these colors here. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to remove that skin and maybe we'll just leave it red for right now. Um, I don't know. I think we'll just leave it red for right now. And, uh, um, and I can change the, the colors, but that's it. I can then easily go to the more section. I'm going to just say, we'll call this character Chaco. <laughs> and I can save Chaco. I'll see that it says character saved. I can download Chaco. It gives me an option if I want to do PNG or Web3. Web, and uh, it downloads. And now you can see that Chaco is downloaded. Now, in the next version of our app, we'll be able to import it into, into vStreamer. But instead, what I'm going to show you is vStreamer right from here. So we went ahead and manually uploaded Chaco into vStreamer. I think it's just called Red Macaw. Give it just a moment. I will say it is slow to load because these assets are kind of big and uh, it just takes a little bit of time. Okay, so <laughs> Um, Zoom was being very unfriendly and was taking up so much memory that it wasn't loading up my vStreamer properly. So give me one second. I'm going to share my screen again. All right. So um, we are now showing all of this. You'll see our cute little red macaw. Now, uh, this one is a little bit different I, than the one that I built, but we just uploaded a version and I have a separate video where I can show you how anyone can actually upload all the components that they need to create their character. But uh, we went ahead and made some quick emotes for this guy. Um, emotes do a bunch of different things. Uh, I could do this Halloween one. Hold on, I'm just looking at um some different things so let's do falling snow um yeah so there's a lot of emotes so all i have to do is once i select my emotes i can select like a chroma background if i'm going to create a video and i want to put them on if I want to layer this character on top of another video, but for right now, I'm just going to choose a background for this video as if I was going to stream. Um, let's put Chaco. There's a ton of backgrounds that are already preloaded for you. Um, a lot of them like fit really well with some of the other avatars that we have. Not everybody has access to all of these avatars. Some of these are test avatars. But I that I have access to, <laughs> um, but there are plenty of um, public avatars like these different emojis and Pepe the Frog and that cartoon guy and the Jack O' Lantern. Uh, let's just do Chaco in a cartoon city. I'm gonna hit just this start screen start streaming button. Uh, you'll notice that I have the show emotes button clicked. I could turn that off, and I'll explain what that does, but. Just hit the show emotes for right now, hit the start streaming. This is going to pull up a new streaming window and it will take a moment to, uh, to load up. Um, I'm gonna actually pause the sharing for a second. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Maybe I don't have to. 
Okay. Well, here we go. We're cooking with grease. Now, if I didn't have the start streaming button clicked, uh, what this would actually do is not show any of these buttons, uh, which is pretty cool, right? Like, that's cool that you can do this without any buttons. Um, we can also trigger different emotes by either clicking them. Uh, so if I wanted to be mad or, you know, by just clicking it on my keyboard so I could laugh. You know, if I thought something was funny, I can laugh. Um, we do have some light facial recognition in this, but it's not the sharpest. You know, 2D is really hard to do facial recognition for. But if I was chatting with people in a TikTok stream, not a TikTok stream, I'm sorry, Twitch stream, for example, and there was like some drama going on, I could be like, oh, that's so, so much drama. I'm going to eat popcorn and watch. You know, uh, I could, you know, talk about something scary and throw up a little sticker, you know, be like, oh my God, what are you talking about? That is ridiculous. That's, that's no way. I don't believe it. <laughs> so there's lots of different ways to kind of express yourself. You know, like I said, I can uh, have it grab, you know, some facial recognition. Um, uh, I think it'll do kind of a sad as well. Uh, like I said, some of the facial recognition is not the best. That's one of the areas that we definitely want to work on with the next round. But there you go. I uh, showed you the creation of Chaco or the Red Macaw in the character builder and now showing you it working in vStreamer. So it's pretty fun, right? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. And uh, if you have any questions, just hit me up. <laughs> Thanks.